Good day, Phil. So I'm going to try to pop in some more electrolytics today. I'm going to be busy for these next few weeks. The harvest is coming up, so I'm going to try and improvise a way to get these um, vents to solder shut so I can get a good bang out of these. Okay, if you always try my best to get that to work, but that's all I was able to achieve. One tiny little blob. So they weren't made to be overweight, these. Alright, let's get a whole bunch of them and start popping. Okay, if you always, let's see if that capacitor still pops. Put a bit of stress in it with the heat from the soldering one, so let's see if it's still got the um, uh, potential left in it. So, three, two, one. Open circuit. Unplug. 160 volt and 100 microfarads. 3, 2, 1. There you go, that took a while. Okay, it's a higher voltage capacitor. Unplug. 50 volt, 1000 microfarad. 3, 2, 1. This one's going to go bang, it's going to take a while. This one's a tough one. There we go. Whew. Power off, unplug. Three, two, one. Whoa. Unplug, safety first. 35 volt, 1000 microfarad. Three, two, one. This one's taken a while also. There we go. Unplug. Safety first. Put a G Luxor 330 microfarad, 50 volt. 3, 2, 1. Unplug. Another G Lux one. 100 volt, 100 microfarad. 3, 2, 1. Half up. G Lux on 10 microfarad, 250 volt. 3, 2, 1. Go on open circuit. 100 volt, 100 microfarad, G Lux one. 3, 2, 1. That will open circuit as well. Unplug. Another G Lux on 10 microfarad, 250 volt. Three, two, one. It's got an open circuit also. Unplug. Got a KME Sam Young, 35 volt, 1000 microfarad. Three, two, one. Still got power going to it. Um, 
one plug. Safety first, as always. Oh, not a smoke. This is a KME 16 volt 470 microfarad. Three, two, one. Oh, that was cool. A little firework at the top. Unplug. Safety first. G Lux on 1000 microfarad, 35 volt. 3, 2, 1. Taking a wall. There we go. Power off, I'm glad. Another 35 volt, 1000 micro fairy G Lux on. 3, 2, 1. Let's try something else. Okay, viewers, let's do some high voltage gardening. This um, Australian gum tree, I transplanted it. Uh, it's died, unfortunately. Yeah, it didn't have a very good root system on it. So it's time to kill the weeds. Pesticide free, environmentally friendly way to kill weeds. Cool. He needs a pair of snip, uh, snippers to cut the weeds down. Just use this. What a great way to kill weeds. There you go, just fry them and that boils the water out of the weeds and dries them out. Kind of like um, salt based weed aside. Um, that, that, that actually does it actually um, dehydrates the weed. Glyphosate is another type which is actually a chemical which poisons it. But some of the type, uh, type we use is actually um, which is called Roundup. It's actually like a al alkaline salts and the, the weeds take it up and that just dehydrates and basically and dries them out. This high voltage treatment is kind of doing the same thing except also cooking them at the same time. Oh, that smell. Dirt's not very conductive, but the leads are, so there's moisture down there. The weed mustn't have very much moisture in it. This will only work as long as the weeds are alive and healthy, which means there's a lot of moisture in there. And the voltage will travel straight through. Yeah, it's arcing at the base of the weed. It was just killing it right down to, the, to its root system. It's 
gone limp, but it hasn't died or cut off. Now it's arcing against the other weed now. There we go, it's cut it now. It's more fun than using a weed backer. This is what I call a weed eater. Right, power off. Unplug, safety first, especially when you're working with microwave oven transformers. Yeah, it's gotten quite hot. It's cool on down pretty quick though. Alright, I've only got to hold on there, the more moisture I'll take you. So, power back on. You can see a little sparkle effect here, half a fit of weed. Let's finish it off. Still got more life left in it yet. Still here arcing. Okay, that one doesn't want to cut off from the base. Let's try this bit of glass here. Oh, an ant. There's ants in here. Hmm, step voltage potential doesn't seem to be hurting them at the moment. There we go. Cut the glass. It's been two days since it rained. It didn't rain much though, so there's still a little bit of moisture left in this. There you go, glass is cut in half and yellowing a bit there. Yeah, starting to smoke up. Bloody wind. Yeah, the moisture start to bubble away so it's getting harder and harder to conduct. There you go. Something popped. Yeah, as the moisture boils away, that's it. It's too dry to conduct any, any better. It's arcing on that spoon there. Alright, 
That's enough for that. I'll give that a bit of a water. Let those grow. I'm going to see um, how well it goes the next attempt. I try to burn those. So for now, thanks for watching. Always unplug.